Hello, hello, hello. I am back for another installment of figure out what's wrong with this phone. Um, so this is an iPhone 8 Plus. Um, see the shiny glass. You drop, drop the phone, crack the screen, replace the screen, touch doesn't work. <clears throat> so uh, what I did was um, I actually, well, confirm it first. You know, try another screen, see if it, see if the problem remains, and and yes, the problem remains. No touchy. And um, I actually started poking around the connector, and uh, you know I took the foam off. I'm just going to show you on the big screen here, but anyways, I, I took the foam off here and just started poking around the connector in diode mode, and I don't really have another 8 plus screen here to uh, compare it to, but uh, I use a 7 plus screen, and it looks like they're pretty close. I think most of the pins are very similar because I think um, I think the I think the digitizer I think the digitizer actually works. Um, you know the 7 plus screens works on the 8 plus maybe or something like that or maybe it's the other way around I don't know but anyways they're similar enough that you can kind of poke around and, and test it and stuff like I didn't see anything wrong with it you know so and then um, then I remembered that there was a iOS issue but the it took me a little while to figure that out but uh, there's an iOS you know 11.3 issue with the touch you know in aftermarket screens and which they fixed in the 11.3.1 so what I did was I plugged it back in and started it back up. Hopefully, there you go. Okay, and then I plugged it in my computer here into iTunes. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, hola. Um, so installing a driver now. I think this is my I nope, this is Wondershare, okay. So let's go to um three tools there. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, driver is installed. My three U tools is still not working though, for some reason. They just probably asked me to do something. No? Oh, there it goes, okay. So three U tools here. I'm just gonna put this in the background. So you can't see my desktop. Um, okay, so you can check the version number um, up here. And as you can see, it's 11, not 3. So the thing to do now is to install 11.3.1. And hopefully that fixes the problem. Uh, that'll be an easy fix, uh, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, unfortunately, it takes about an hour to download these iOS files uh, from work here because of this crappy Cox internet. So we're just going to download it and I'll be back to finish this video, hopefully, uh, in a little bit. Um, let's see, download. Alright, it's going to take about three years. Hopefully that's the, hopefully that's the fix. Um, but I'll be back, alright. Alright, so we updated this phone to the latest version of iOS, which is at this time 11.3.1. And this version specifically addresses the problem with aftermarket screens on the 8 and 8 plus and as you can see the touch is working great right now uh, we're just going to go through the setup process here and, and uh, go ahead and just test the whole screen but it looks like everything's working because touch wasn't working at all before and it actually took me a little while to figure this out to realize that it was on 11.3 I, I probably should that probably should have been the first thing that I checked you know but uh, but it wasn't, and I probably could have just told the customer to, to do this themselves. But uh, I, I didn't even think about it at the time, to be honest with you. So now we're, we're going through the setup process here. You see the touch. There's no problems with the touch. This is an aftermarket screen, and um, once we get to the end here, uh, we're just going to drag an icon around the whole screen to test the touch, and we are back in business here. And that's really the end of it. Um, there's no magic sauce to this. 11.3.1. If you don't, if you're not, if you're on 11.3, upgrade to 11.3.1. All right. And we're gonna. Um, so you actually don't need 3U tools. You can just go to iTunes and put it into um, DFU mode, and it'll show you the version number that you're currently on. So, all right, we're gonna send you to the course promo now that we have uh, right now. Thank you for watching our videos. Just wanted to let you know that we have a online course out there. Um, 
It is a comprehensive course which covers everything from uh, understanding components all the way to data recovery. And in between that, we have a ZXW Tools course and um, uh, three of the most common repairs, backlight, touch, charge. So we actually created a course. It's three and a half hours of content, and it's the full curriculum. It's four courses combined into one. We've added sections on there, bonus sections, to show you how to set up your hot air station, your soldering iron, and um, in your DC power supply. And, and we're going to be adding stuff uh, probably just about every week here to this course. Um, the course is 150 bucks. We host it at Udemy.com. If you want to buy it. Uh, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then click on microsoldering the full curriculum. Thanks for watching.